Hi there, Jordan Crook here for MobileBurn.com and I have in front of me the Bing for iPad app. Just to familiarize you guys with the home screen, down here at the bottom we have weather, news, maps, movies, trends, and finance. Up here in the top right hand corner we have a settings tab which is very straightforward. We have filters for our search and then we also have a home button in case anybody gets lost. Now Bing is first and foremost a search engine and as such it's going to give us a text search as well as a voice search. So let's go ahead and test that out real quick. Burrito. And that was a fairly successful search. It brought up my burrito query rather well. And as you can see, we have some image, image searches, we have recipes, we have a Wikipedia listing, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this local filter to bring up places near me that serve burritos. And then from there, I can actually jump straight into the map tool which supports pinch to zoom. I'll zoom in here on my search results and then from the map tool I can choose road view, aerial view right here and then I can also choose a bird's eye view. And then from within bird's eye and aerial you can choose to show labels so you can have this pretty map view without getting lost. You can see the street signs still which I think is really cool. And then what the, the best selling point of this app is, is that you can organize yourself really well. So if I've searched here, I can choose to go back to my original nearby listings. And then I can go back from there to my burrito search and even back to the home screen. And I can go from left to right and back and forth. So we've seen the maps. <clears throat> Let's go into the weather tool. This offers a 10 day forecast for your area as well as an hourly forecast. And then you can actually jump into the weather maps and see different maps for temperature, satellite, cloud cover, and Doppler radar over the next 24 hours in your area, which is also a pretty cool feature, I think, too. So news and trends are very similar, um, but they're organized a little bit differently. News actually brings up these top headlines that are being searched on the online. So you can see top stories, world, US news, entertainment news, you can search from left to right through those headlines. And then if we jump into trends, these are the top searches online. So you can go from day to day. And today the, the biggest search was Hangover, the movie being pulled. So I can go through and click to that. It'll bring up different headlines that have to do with that story. And then I can choose to go into one of those headlines and actually pull up the story itself. As always, I can swipe back out to go see what I've looked at previously and then jump back to home. Movies will bring up different trailers. It'll filter different movies based on what's in theaters, what's at the box office, or doing well at the box office rather, what's coming soon, etc. And then if we jump right back, the last but certainly not least is our little finance ticker down here. Totally customizable. Um, just keeps you in touch with what you want to be in touch with. Overall, this is Bing for the iPad, and I'm Jordan Crook with Mobile Burn. Thanks.